Hi, we're back. This is part two of the Burning Man job. First thing we're going to do is scan the flag we received the other day into our computer. Now that I have the image on my computer, I'm going to open it up in Adobe Illustrator. That's what I use for all my graphics design. You can see there's the image of the flag. I also use a website called Vector Magic. It takes uh, graphic files, JPEGs, GIFs, or, or TIFFs, and it converts them to a vector drawing. Vector allows you to resize the image as well as manipulate it. You can take things out. You could add things. Uh, what I'm doing now is saving it to my computer, and then I'll uh, reopen it inside of Adobe Illustrator. Now that I've saved the file to my computer, I'm going to open up an Illustrator, like I said. And I, it saves it as an EPS format, and that's what uh, I have here in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to do a little uh, rearranging here, make sure I'm, I'm able to work with the, uh, the file. But you see, if you click on sections of the file, you can actually uh, manipulate it and delete it and, uh, and add things. Here I'm going to remove the orange. And the reason it comes out like this is because it was that uh, plastic flag. If it was just a scan, you wouldn't get this, uh, this kind of gradient, grainy uh, texture. But I'm just going to clean up the file a little bit and try to get the girl to uh, be by herself. All right, so now I'm done. I've, I've just stripped out all of that orange, and uh, now I have the girl to work with. Now, the client mentioned the theme of this year's Burning Man is the 1926 Metropolis uh, movie poster, and it's a, it's a female robot. Now, I have no idea who or what that is, so I'm going to use trusty Google to find some images of this robot. So you can see I'm just looking at different images I've put in my Google search. I'm looking for something that could work on a t-shirt. Um, I'm not really sure which one I'm going to select. I'm just kind of going around and seeing uh, what this is all about. So I'm looking at this picture here. The robot's not good, but I, I really like the, uh, the way the Metropolis is laid out. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, keep it on my computer maybe use it uh, a little later. So I'm still trying to find the picture of the robot. I'm, I'm looking at quite a few images. Some are pretty small like this one that's not really going to work. Um, let me try to find a, another one. There's quite a few of them on Google Images. All right, This one's got some potential here. It's a line drawing of the robot. I'm going to go ahead and save this off. I actually like this one. I'm going to go ahead and drop it into Vector Magic and uh, have it create a vector drawing of this image. You can see now I'm back in Illustrator. I've already put it in Vector Magic. I'm now cleaning it up. What I'm trying to do here is remove the robot from the background. You just want a nice and clean drawing of the robot so that it will show up really nice on a t-shirt. So now I'm just finishing up cleaning up the image removing some last minute. Here's the final piece of the uh, the female robots all cleaned up. You can see what I'm doing here is I'm adding different uh, different designs trying to create something for the client. I have her stepping on the metropolis, stepping on the robot. I've got uh, them side by side with the robot holding the pizza. I'm adding the Burning Man images, the metropolis images, the the year that we're in. You can see I have the Burning Man on the top. I'm trying to give the client a variety, something to pick from, see what uh, he likes best, and then uh, once he selects, I'll clean up the image a little more. I still need a front design for the t-shirt, so I'm going to go on the Burning Man website and see what I can find. Actually, if you look at this, look at those flames in the, in the Burning Man guide. This could be a, a good front of the t-shirt, so I'm going to go ahead and save that off. I'm going to throw it in my vector magic and create a vector drawing from it. All right, I'm back in Adobe Illustrator. I have the image I pulled off of the website. I've got this idea for the front of the shirt. I'm going to take the uh, the flames and the little Burning Man guy and create an oval and put the letters BRC. It stands for Black Rock City. It's actually the city they have Burning Man in, uh, in the desert here in Nevada. I've learned this all from the website trying to give the client uh, a cool little image to put on the uh, the front 
pocket area of the t-shirt. And all I'm doing here is going in, putting some fonts, and uh, changing the size around. All right, there it is. Uh, I have the letters. I added another uh, oval, a little thicker this time. I think it looks sharp, just like the uh, little oval decals you would see on a, on a car. This should be perfect for the, uh, the front of the t-shirt. All right, the designs are done. The client actually picked this one with the, uh, the girl and the robot side by side. Really no, no surprise there. I, I think this one turned out the best as well. What I'm doing now is adding my crop marks. I'm adding a little title so when I print the transparency that I'll know exactly what job it belongs to. You can see I'm writing Burning Man job up on there. I have an HP 9800. I'm going to go ahead and print my transparencies on it. I'm selecting the printer. And I go into preferences because I have a pre-made template that lets me print on the uh, large transparencies. It puts uh, enough ink down and the margins are all set. Once it's printed, I'm going to go ahead and allow the transparency to dry. And then uh, when you join us next time, we'll go ahead and burn the image into the screen and start printing.